Hi, it's Casey from Sarah's Subaru. I'm here to tell you a little bit about the buttons on your steering wheel. Today we're going to focus on the right side of your steering wheel. Let's start with the S and the I on this 2024 Subaru Crosstrek Limited. Not all Subarus are equipped with this bu these buttons, but if yours is, it's good to know what they do. So your normal everyday driving mode is intelligent mode. To put that on, you just press this here and you'll see the intelligent mode indicated by park, right by the park indicator. So you can see that I right there. That lets you know that I'm in intelligent mode. That's your everyday fuel efficient driving mode. That's also your default mode. And then here you have sport mode. Sport mode will recalibrate things so that when you drive, your car holds in gear ratio a little bit longer for a torquier, sportier drive. So you can see intelligent mode, it shows you a torque curve. And then here I press sport mode for that. I don't know why everything appears to be blinking in this video, but please be assured that's not what the car actually looks like. Coming back over to our steering wheel here, we have your lane centering, cruise control, and adjustment for the following distance on the advanced adaptive cruise control. So on this vehicle, when you want to turn your cruise on, you're going to press this button here. That'll get your cruise ready. When you do that, you will have the picture of the car with the lines in front of it appear on your gauge cluster. When you're at the speed you want, you'll press down and that will set your speed. The speed you set will display right here where those dotted lines are. The zero miles per hour is how fast I'm actually going and the hash marks are where I've set my speed. Because I'm not actually driving, I don't have anything I can set. And then you'll see the two lines in front of the vehicle icon there. What that does is it tells you that we're at level two for our advanced adaptive cruise control. The la those lines are indicative of distance. So I can decrease the distance. If I press that, it would take it down to one bar. Or if I come over here and press up, I can increase all the way to the maximum following distance of four bars. How far four bars or one bar or even two or three is back from the elite vehicle depends on how fast you're going, as it should, because you could, should always be further back when you're going faster. Once my eyesight cameras detect another vehicle in front of me, I will see an icon of another vehicle in front of those lines. I'm comfortable at a three or a four, but everybody's a little different and every traffic situation is different. I do recommend starting at a four, that way you can build trust with your car that it will in fact slow you down once it sees the vehicle. Some vehicles, not the Crosstrek, are equipped with LED lights, which is the um, eyesight assist monitor and those will flash into your windshield to indicate when it sees a car in front of you. So if you do have the eyesight assist monitor, then what that will do is reflect a green light up into your windshield when it sees a vehicle in front of you. That way it lets you know that it is matching the speed of another vehicle. That's a visual indication in addition to the vehicle icon that would appear in front of those lines. You can also go into your settings and set it to lead vehicle acquisition on, and then your car will give you an audible alert each time it matches the speed of a car or each time it no longer sees that car to match its speed. Lastly, over here is lane centering. Your lane centering will only work when your adaptive cruise control is active. That means you've set it. The lane centering as indicated by the steering wheel icon up here will say ready when your cruise control is not set, but once it is fully set, it'll be active and indicate that in green. 
that will then use the eyesight cameras to look at lane lines to keep you dead center in their road. It's even more accurate when there are other vehicles in front of you that it can use to gauge exactly how wide the lanes are and where the center of that lane is. So the right side of your steering wheel is mainly used for long distance travel where you're using your cruise control and your lane centering, but you can also use it to adjust your torque curve in the car and be in either sport mode for a little bit more zip or intelligent mode for more fuel economy. Thank you for your time today and I hope you love learn more about the Subaru you love.